Okay. We're back. So. We need to get the focus and the almanac from Corkinum's hut. That's something that's also easy to forget. And you're on all the way to the new camp and you realize you actually need to go back here. Ah. Uh, actually what I got. Okay. Uh, okay. Okie dokie. Um, let me just rob your master. You won't mind. It's actually a very safe jump down there, but uh, uh, also easy to die there if you do that. It's a pretty precise jump, so not gonna bother with that. And yeah, potions. And we'll do this. Okay. Must be something about that I bet. So let me actually like we'll do one thing out of order. But keep it to yourself. Maybe two or three. Let's see. So once you bring the the focus and the almanac to the magicians of water, they're gonna ask us to find four more foki. So just pick up a few of them on the way. One of them is here on the left. So, in the later stages of the game, it becomes a bit more... I guess it's still an open world game technically, but uh, it becomes quite linear. Like, there's not that many side quests in later stages of the game. It's pretty all about the main quest. But in the sound, you have lots and lots of side quests. And then in later chapters, it's pretty much all about the main quest. Like, in the sound, you have like, freedom to explore this new world. But then, you kind of need to... Uh, and sort of shit hits the fan and you're just like busy saving the world basically. Okay. Let's just fight these mano a mano. Mano a doggo. So here's another golem guy. That's like actually a better blunt weapon you buy. Why don't you bother with that? It's easy anyway. this take the save if you play this game for for the first time you're probably gonna need like 30 40 hours but uh, if you know what you're doing you can easily easily uh, Play through it in five. But if, if you're playing like this and listening to all the. Uh, listening to all the dialogue and such. I think it's a bit, a bit longer. We've been going for about five hours now. Um, uh, but I think we're a bit more than halfway done. So far. Just some more of these harpies. I think actually, let me in the settings lower the effects a bit more. 
think this obvious music is a bit too too loud. Uh, so that, I, th I think actually, actually it's like do it like this. See if that's better. But like really loud. Is it better now? Okay, there's some skellies back there. Let's fight the skellies. They were fine, you say? Not too loud. You mean like the new lowered uh, um, volume or the original screams? By the way, I guess I will we'll make them slightly louder. Okay. Up here. Oops, almost fell there. Falling is not good. Any guys up here? Nope. Yo, do I have any telekinesis rolls here? It's possible to jump over there. Like down here, there's this blow, glowing blue thing. There is the focus that I want. Actually, you can't see it because my uh, camera is blocking it. Never mind. I need to like jump over there. Uh, but that's kind of a, a risky jump. So I'm gonna use some magic instead. Lucinesis eight. This way you can. Uh, move objects by enough pick it up in the, in the pick it up down there any more harpies for me to kill Okay, Harpy can come down. Earth to Harpy. Come down, let me kill you. My god. There you go. Another chest in there. Yeah, okay. So I think there's one more room. Another ceiling happy. There we go. I'll just climb back down. There's another. You can also climb up up, up to the other floor, but that's not really necessary. Nothing important is up there. Oh, 
obviously not gonna get like a full impression of the game just watching me play like this because I'm not gonna go into every area. I'm not gonna explore everything because you already know where the worthwhile stuff is. Of course, if you're playing this on your own, there's uh, a lot of stuff to explore. Okay, look at this potion. Oh. I think I'll do some more of these ruins. This is not the, the order you're supposed to do this stuff. You're supposed to wait for a little bit longer, go to the uh new camp first and then you also have like a companion that's that accompanies you to um uh when picking up these um these um focuses these foci but we don't need that companions just get in the way In this way, if you actually decide to pick up this game after watching the stream, there's still some new, some new content that you can explore. You haven't seen everything. There's like some fun interactions with some of these characters. Um, actually, let me run through here. I actually care too much about these guys. There's like a Shadow Beast nearby, which is like a pretty strong monster that can actually be quite dangerous towards me. Even now. Just kill these you know, on our way. And now we should be more than strong enough to take on some of these snappers and such. Also, be easily able to take on these orc dogs. Actually, just do more damage. Bit disappointing. Lightly anticlimactic. Kill some more doggos. Yo. Actually, some fun skeletons in that tower. You want to go into the tower? Very powerful opponents there. Let, let's explore the tower a bit. It's not the safest choice. It's also not important. It's just like a, a side quest. How do we look into the tower? Do we have some more light? Some skeletons. Skeleton warrior. Okay. What else do we have here? Maze. I've actually done this this kind of area very rarely because it's just not part of the main quest. Actually kind of a fun area. Let's 
Let's see, some more skeletons. Actually, really rem remember very little about this area. No, there's lots of skeletons here. They're actually dangerous. The scouts don't do very much, but the skeleton warriors do a lot of damage. They happen to die here. I think it's safe to save and also drink a potion. They actually escape. And I see. A mage here. Not allowed to cast any spells. Get some summon skeleton scrolls from him. Ice bolt. Hi there, Zero. So we found this nice little book. Let's read it. He who is willing to renounce all depravity and wanders on the path of righteousness shall know where the source of my power lies hidden, so that he might use it to break the chains of this world and prove worthy to receive Chromanin. The wise one sees to having a general overview before he decides himself to his next mission. Any uh, visage content coming soon? Uh, yes, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, so like this chromium stuff is like a quest where you're supposed to go to particular areas of the map and then you get the next hint. Not sure we can do all of that. Um, some more skeletons. Axe is nice, but not every game. Yeah, exactly. Especially after they they, they nerfed it. But I think before before it was like so good that you had to just get it. Now that flying vision is gone, I think there's games where you just want to skip the axe. It's still very useful, obviously, but it's not a must anymore. I think. My light is gone now. I don't think I have another light scroll, so... But thankfully, for some reason, there's torches down there. Like, who's, who's, who's keeping up these torches? Do the skeletons light these torches? Replace them regularly? And one of them is burned out? Kind of clever. All to be all the team onto one in this bird. Yeah, yeah, that's actually really clever. I kind of kind of miss the old uh, underlord ags. Back when you just could add like so much damage to uh, to those birds. That was really fun combo as well.
if you can shoot some blood flies. I'm stuck on the cliff now. Whatever. Yeah. So, we have these snappers. Did they do any damage to me? Probably not. Really. Maybe I should take off my armor. Been naked for a while. Make things a bit more interesting. Now I actually take some damage, so it makes things more challenging. So here's an important key we need for our quest. Okie dokie. But yeah, this uh, Unknown Axe is like a really deadly form of initiation because it also has a flying movement, so uh, you can't uh, see it coming as well as you could, like say, a Shadow Fiend coming into an enemy team invis or something. Because you can just fly over some trees and then they can't really see you. I guess you have jumped down there. That's dumb. So I just have to go up there again. And I was going to come here down I mean, anyway after getting the focus. Like, eh. Actually, it's in general, even this like initiation with bird, if even if it's um, even if it's not in this, you should be able to do, like really good initiation because not fall down this tree uh, because you can just like have the the bird fly over the trees where you just, oh what claim almost dead now forgot that I had no armor on so. Actually, kind of dicey. I'm actually die here. Let's not die here. Okay. Okay, they're fine. That's yeah, true, it doesn't help you farm. Dodged again. There we go. Critical. Come on, I can take you. There you go. But it helps you like a lot in actually looking for fights, so it just does so much for its cost. Yeah, in, terms of, in terms of place, I actually don't like it that much. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not really very good at these kinds of, uh, like, hunter heroes that just hunt people down and looking for kills. 
So we can get down here. It's also possible actually to just jump uh, over here, but it's kind of risky. Might just fall down, and you're not gonna actually gonna die here, but there is some time, so it's actually probably on average faster to um, use our transformation scrolls here. Although in the speed journey, we we'll just run over over that thing. So from a meat bug. But yeah, as I wanted to say, it's actually like even if you don't have the the agonims, you can actually still like do some really good initiations with uh, Underlord alt. Just fly your birds over over trees somewhere, and they won't really be able to spot it realistically. Fight these guys a bit. Okay, very easy. Back to it. Yeah, that's true, of course. Having the hero gives you a lot more vision. But it's not flying vision now. I mean, they're not actually, they're not actually blind, they just have like a very low vision. Yeah, the, the, the lore does claim they're blind. Health potions. See if you can take this guy. Oh, I didn't get a hidden. This guy is to like, I think, 200 damage, or something like that. So, yeah, it probably can just like. Like it's, I think it's 150, so they can probably like three hit me. Uh, I think that's the focus, right? That's our focus. Um. Does it spawn a troll now? I don't really care. Blood fly. Yeah, if you fly over a cliff, you basically like a ward. Quite valuable. SF magic build is nuts now. I will change with that. We're going to try a um, bloodfly duel. Yeah, we hit this guy. Come on. Ah. There we go. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'm the better blood fly. I'm the king blood fly here. Uh, the shard and a cane blink. 
Um, what does the shard do? Remind me again, I, I forgot that. Actually, some humans here nearby need to be careful. Come at me, bro. Uh, um, 0 0.05 spell amp. Yeah, so with like 20, you have 15% spell amp. Okay, that seems pretty good. More snappers. Time to pop out. Really hard to deal with them without taking some damage. He said, as he did exactly that. Actually, a lot more fun to play without armor here in this game. Although it's kind of boring. So here's to the right is like one of the hardest areas of the game, one of the most dangerous. There's like a bunch of bandits here in the in the mountains. They'll just attack you on sight. Um, I think they were supposed to be part of the quest, but it apparently got scrapped because like they just. I don't know if you have names, but they're just like random opponents that. I have no quest or anything like that uh, associated with him. Kind of weird. Roast Goblin. Yay, there's Drink Scroll, which is nice to have. Plus some telekinesis, yep. Well, that's our focus. You're supposed to uh, catch some sort of winch there, and there's like a troll that you can defeat and so on, but we're not gonna do that. I think the little Diego is actually supposed to help us here. But we'll do it like this. So now um, we have. Three of them. Let's go for the last one as well. Let me just. And that way, let's have a little bit of time. Okay, that again, it's hard to play without armor. How far am I going back? Oh, I guess before the goblins. Ah, let's just put on armor for, the, for this part at least.
Let's go back into armor. Armor's pretty good, it turns out. Come at me, bro. Don't want to aggro the big guy, though. But strong enough for him. So, I'm going to hell rush him. I want the focus here. Go back to, to Bloodfly. Okay. Of the last focus stone. And then we're gonna be done with chapter three. Just leave this critters be. Learning points to have 60. Okay, plenty of learning points. Plenty of learning points to be had here. actually get back to a place where we were before or walked past before these guys don't kill us oh uh, no okay they have no bows yeah I got them anyway so good all right let's this time let's actually kill those guys with armor this time so that it's always safe quite the boring but very safe some stuff and maybe lots of skeletons here okay, first Skeletons actually do quite a bit of damage, so I can't get surrounded by them. This is fine though. This guy's supposed to be destroyed by, his, by a particular destroy underscore but it's actually fine mm. 
It's actually fine. We've got a key here. Which we can use for actually building that. Left, left, right, okay. Right, there we go. And now let's run back. The focus stones already in our pocket. So, uh, Gothic uh, is the first game by this particular developer by Piranha Bytes. And it was like a hugely ambitious game, and they promised like lots of stuff that they were going to implement, and some of them, some of that did not make it into the end game. So we can see in this game, there's like a couple of areas there where it's like, it looks like there should be a quest there or something, but there isn't. Uh, so, in a lot of ways that uh, the developers kind of overestimate their own abilities. And the result is a game that has like a lot of charm, that uh, um, there's a lot of things right, but it's also quite rough around the edges. There's a lot of things in the, in the game that... Uh, just uh, are like a little bit off and I would would uh, would need some more polishing but I think it's also part of the charm of the game it's that uh, it, it's kind of a diamond in the rough it uh, it's a game that does a lot of things awesomely well but it's that sort of fails at some of the, of the basics and all of these um, sort of flaws were fixed in the second game in Gothic 2 um but especially with the with the um expansion out of the raven but also like loses some of the of the charm of the original and like some of the like the atmosphere is not as good in the second game i feel like and uh the story is like a bit more like generic Hello. with like more generic high fantasy kind of story um I have an important, I have an message, important for message for Saturus. What could be so important that our spiritual leader should interrupt his important studies for it? The gurus have recognized that they're praying to an evil archdemon, which actually they haven't. But okay. The gurus have recognized that they're praying to an evil archdemon. All of a sudden, they now think their sleeper is a demon? Sounds like another mad idea of the Brotherhood, but should they be right, all of us in the colony here might be in grave danger. You must report to Satyrus at once. He must decide what is to be done. Where can I find Satyrus? Go to the upper level. Tell the guards there that you have my permission to pass. The password is Tetriandoch. Saturus is by the pentagram. He spends almost all day there studying how to blow up the big ore mound. Okay, let's do that. Walk to old Saturus. Stop! Nobody may pass without the password. The password is Tetriandach. That's right. You may pass. Micro is kind of hard. Do you have any non micro hero videos? Um, I have uh, one Hello. on uh, Doom. Um. And then I also have. You'll first have to earn your armor. 
part um, from like some hero, some videos about that that are not about a specific hero. But for the most part, like my channel is all about these micro heroes. Give me the heavy armor. You're not experienced enough to. Okay. Guess I need to talk to Saturus, and then I'm experienced enough. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get a whole bunch of levels now. Are we now level 18? Let's see how many little levels you get. I'm gonna say two. Greetings. I have important news from the Brotherhood's camp. If Kronos gave you permission to visit me, it must be important news indeed. Iberian is dead. He died during the ritual invocation of the sleeper. Iberian dead? That's bad news. Very bad news indeed. Who's leading the Brotherhood now? That power-hungry and deceitful core Kalam? No, Kalam has turned his back on the Brotherhood. He's taken some Templars with him. Nobody knows where they've gone. Why is that? He was in second place after Yuburion. Certain events have convinced the Gurus that their way is the wrong one. Their god seems to be an evil archdemon. One of the Gurus nearly killed me under the influence of the Sleeper, although I had saved his life just briefly beforehand. Kor Kalam was the only guru who didn't want to admit the true nature of the hellish creature. That's why he's left the camp in the swamp. I see. Well, at least we're lucky in this regard. Kor Angar is a good man. He's tough, but honest. If anybody could prevent the Brotherhood from falling apart after this spiritual catastrophe, he can. Uh, who's your highest order plus level hero? Uh, probably Chen. I think he's like level 20 or something. Um, although I, I, I've, I haven't had Dota Plus in like a year or something. I still like, I've, I've stopped having Dota Plus for like about a year and now I've just recently uh, uh, renewed my subscription. So um, if, if I hadn't stopped, I would probably already level 25 or even level 30. But uh, yeah, I think it's around level 20 or 21 or something like that. I have this almanac. Iberian used it to charge the focus. Very good. We need the knowledge contained in this book to charge the five original focus stones. I'll take the almanac. I have this focus. You're holding the key that can unlock all our bonds. It's one of the five focus stones which were used to create the magic barrier. And with the help of the very same focusing power of these stones, we'll tear down the great wall of energy. But won't that use up an awful lot of power? True. But in all these years, we've untiringly collected ore instead of trading it for luxuries with our jailers. As you must know, each ore nugget contains a certain amount of magic power. With the aid of the energy thus amassed in the ore mound, we'll be able to destroy the magic barrier. Sounds dangerous. The explosion will be merely of a magical nature. It will only destroy everything that's been modified by the magic inside the barrier. There is no danger to us human beings. Here, take the focus. I hope it really will be of some use to your plans with the ore mound. What are you going to do with the focus and the almanac now? Nothing. We need the four remaining focus stones first. Unfortunately, we don't have any of these four magic stones. I'm willing to find the four remaining focus stones for you. After all, I'm quite keen on getting out of here sometime myself. I must warn you. Searching for them will prove as difficult as it will be dangerous. Since conflict with the old camp is getting worse every day, I cannot give you any mercenary either. You'll be totally on your own. Well, that's nothing unusual for me. I'll find a way to organize these things. Your confidence does you credit, but you'll need some items to assist you. Take this map here. It's old, but on it you'll see the original locations of the focus stones when the barrier was created. Also, this spell scroll will enable you to travel back to our camp faster. Finally, you need to speak to Riordian. He brews the potions for the camp. You'll find him in his hut, here, on the upper level. I found a focus in the Troll Canyon. Mm. Abs, I have those fo start. focus stones with You're me already. Well. There are still three focus stones missing to accomplish our plan. Now go and look out for the remaining focus stones. I found a focus in the mountain fort. Good. 
That's the second focus stone you've brought us. We're getting closer and closer to our target. Be brave and fetch the two remaining focus stones. I found a focus in the ruined monastery. Gorn the mercenary was there. He gave me a hand in searching. Unbelievable. Now we have four focus stones altogether. There's only one more missing. Then we'll have them all. You've already done our community a great service. Get the last focus stone, and we'll soon be able to free ourselves. I found a focus under the ring of stone. Brilliant. Now we have all five focus stones. Your deeds are invaluable to our camp. Be assured of my eternal gratitude. Go to Riordian now. He'll give you something for your immense efforts. Speak to Kronos, the keeper of the ore as well. He'll give you another gift from our community. Can you blast the ore mound now? We now have all the artifacts we need to fulfill our plan. But the barrier was created by 12 magicians. There are not enough magicians in the circle of water to control the powerful energies and to guide them onto the right course. What can we do? I'm aware that you've already done much for our community. We owe you greatly, but in the interest of all the inhabitants of the colony, I need to ask one more favor of you. One more favor? Yes. Go to the old camp and try to win some of the magicians of the Circle of Fire for our cause. Magicians of Fire? Why should they want to give up their easy life? The destruction of the barrier would rob them of their powerful position. That is the exact reason why you must accomplish this mission. You know people from all the camps of the colony. Remind the magicians of fire of the old times, when we studied the arts of magic together. All right then, I'll try to convince the magicians of fire. But I can't promise anything. It seems nearly impossible to me. You must try. If you do not succeed in this, there is only one other, just one... One what? Forget it. You must succeed. Here, take this magic rune. Hand it over to Coristo, the High Magician of the Circle of Fire, as a sign of our trust. With this, he can teleport into this room without passing the guards anytime he wants. I hope that it will convince our former friends of our good intentions. May you return in one piece? Okay, that's our chapter break. So, how many levels did we gain? Just one. Ah, uh, okay. One level. Okay. Greetings. Satyrus sent me. Ah, come here. I've already been informed. Here, take these potions. They're potions of all kinds. Now go and bring us the focus stones. These artifacts are our only hope. Satyrus said you had a reward for me? Ah, come here, come here. Our spiritual leader has told me about your uh, uh, five years till Bane and Phoenix? No, uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. that. Take this as a modest reward for all your efforts. I'm really not sure. Pro probably that list would have to change. Greetings, magician. I am Riordian, the alchemist. I gather you want a potion? Show me your goods. Tell me what she got. Take some more of these speed potions. Um... Healing potions as well. Tell you some of my crap. Um...
Planning system is kind of awkward in this game a bit. Greetings. Who are you? I am Nefarious, magician of the Circle of Water. I'd like to become a magician of the Circle of Water. <laughs> Not so fast, my boy. Before we let a young man join us, he needs to have done something great. And he must have served us for some time. If you are really serious, you should join our mercenaries. There you can serve us. And maybe one day, you'll be granted a chance to do something great. Am I ready for the Circle of Water? I see you've become one of our mercenaries. Very good, very good. Time will attend to the rest. Am I ready? I see time. Okay. Not a magician yet. Um, can I now get the heavy armor? Oh, he's down. Let's just waft these down. Life. Mana. Strength and agility and this stuff. Okay. Yeah, so I definitely want to do more of these uh, tier lists uh, now that the new patch is out. Um, but, you know, I would have to think about uh, about them for a bit before I can really tell you what my SD hero SC heroes are. But I can definitely tell you that for, for mid and carry, Lycan is going to be an SD hero. This is also going to be SD hero. There was a time when I led a very different life. I was one of the best generals of this country. I've spent my whole life fighting for my country. But the nobles didn't like me because the king listened to my advice, and they knew I posed a threat to their dirty business. I hadn't counted on their insidiousness. They used the king's wife to get me. I was blamed for her pointless murder. King Robar had no other choice. The services I had rendered my country saved me from the gallows, but they robbed me of my freedom. One day I'll be free again, then I shall return and take revenge. I shall have my revenge. Okay, so backstory to Lee. I need better armor. You'll first have to earn your armor. Give me the heavy armor. This armor is the best piece you'll ever get inside the barrier, and believe me, it's worth the ore. May I pass through here? Okay. Oh, that's good armor. What is that kind of traffic jam here? Ah, <laughs> they're all stuck down there. <laughs> okay, now they're <laughs> getting free. Okay, so now we're supposed to go to the old camp. He did skill points. Oh, we just, we just get um, one head level two. Would be kind of worth it. Actually knock this guy down. Okay. 
No, this guy's new. Poor scavenger. Hey, no sweat, man. Come over here. I'm supposed to be in the old camp. What is happening here? Will you train me? If you have enough ore, I'll teach you how to use a crossbow. Just pay me 200 ore. You okay? I'm hiding away here. I don't care for the trash those guards are pulling off. But I've taken some pretty good stuff from the arsenal. If you need a weapon, just let me know. In fact, I do need a weapon. Actually, I don't just want a weapon. Take your weapons. I don't want to learn the crossbow though. You won't have much time to be sorry for I'm being generous enough to let him live. Be content with that. That's more got more stuff. Look, he's fine. He's fine. Come on, I'm gonna give him a healing potion. Yeah. You look. I'll be. I'll be nice to him. Show me what you have. We can have some healing potions for, for free. See, I'm not so not. I'm not so cruel. Just need his stuff. Need some more trade goods. They're attacking me. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Is the mining this game? Uh, no, like there's, it's only like there's like an animation for mining, but you can't actually mine any actual ore. I mean, this whole thing is like a mining camp, but you as a player character can't actually mine anything. Probably something they meant to implement into the game because there's an, an animation you have for for mining you get to like all thingies but yeah, it doesn't actually do anything now big plot twist hey shh be quiet hello diego what's the meaning of all this hide and seek business haven't you heard heard what the old mine caved in the fire mages were assassinated, and there are plans to raid the free mine. What? What are you talking about? How could the old mine cave in? One of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging, and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke, and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. Why are the fire mages dead? That's a long story. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, luckily I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course, who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? 
To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. That's mad. I need to warn the new camp. Then you must hurry up. They'll have almost reached the free mine. But they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine, and nobody else knows about it. I've seen the guards in front of the locked gates. Stay away from them. They'll attack anybody approaching the camp. They are afraid of somebody avenging the raid on the free mine. But what happened to the fire mages? Cristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? Oh, yes. Cristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. Gomez didn't trust Thanks for watching, them Oscar. and had them perfidiously assassinated. See you later, maybe. Maybe you can still, if... if uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be there later, but, you know... The team's probably going to go for another, like, two or three hours. What are you and Milton going to do now? We'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't bump straight into the guards. But you could do us a favor. Consider it done. Tell me what you want. Look out for Lester and Gorn. They need to know what happened here. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. If I see them before you do, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting point. Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. Go now. We'll meet again later. Take care. Okay. I'm glad you returned. Something terrible has happened. Let me guess, the free mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming? Hang on. How? But of course. You found out about it in the old camp. Gorn arrived here just before you did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? He should be aware that such a heinous act can only provoke war. The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Of course. Then the whole thing makes sense. Gomez has his back to the wall. He's more dangerous than ever. Now that he doesn't have anything left to lose, he'll do anything. Hold on one second. Gomez has had all of the magicians of fire killed. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the free mine and opposed Gomez. Then we're all doomed. Without the other six magicians, we'll never be able to control the concentrated power of the massive ore mound. But in spite of that, I thank you for passing this dangerous message on to me. When you sent me to the Magicians of Fire, you mentioned there was somebody. Well, I had hoped we could make it without his help, but the way things are developing... Who is he? All right, all right. Many, many years ago. Give me the shortened version, please. Be patient. Well, when we, the Twelve Magicians, created the barrier back then, our magic powers were directed and controlled by a Thirteenth Magician. A Thirteenth Magician? I thought there were only twelve. Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believed that. This 13th magician was our leader. 
All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. What is this 13th magician called? His name is Zardus. Hardly anybody remembers the old stories about him. The ones who do just call him the Necromancer. Why did he leave the old camp? He started to investigate the invocation of undead and magical creatures. Gomez was not the only one who began to worry. Most of the other magicians opposed him as well and his unholy deeds. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. Where is this magician today? He lives in seclusion, in his tower in the middle of the Orc land. That's just about the southernmost point of the colony. I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. He's the only one that can help us now. If he knows no way out, or doesn't want to help us. He will. There is one other problem. A problem? Yes. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardus several times, but it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. What does that mean? None of the messengers ever return from his tower. You'll have to find a way to get past his creatures. Looks like this is going to be interesting. Nefarious said I was ready I to wear the robe of okay. a magician of water. Then I welcome you to our community. Does that mean that I now belong to the Guild of the Magicians of Water? Not yet. First you need to take the Oath of Water. I'm ready to take the Oath. Now speak the words of the Oath. I swear by the might of the gods. I swear by the might of the gods. And by the power of the holy water. And by the power of the holy water that my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the source of my life shall dry out. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the source of my life shall dry out. Wear this robe as a sign of your bond with the holy water and with Adanos. Okay, a nice robe. For the honor of magic. Um, so, can you instruct me? There's much you need to learn. I shall teach you as soon as you're ready. I am ready to enter the first circle. To enter the first of the magic circles, means learning to use magic runes. Each rune contains the structure of a special magic spell. By using your own magic powers, you'll be able to cast the magic of the rune. But in contrast to the magic scrolls, which are magic formulas as well, the magic power of the rune ensures that the structure of the spell endures. Every rune is a source of magic power, which you can fall back on any time. Your own magic power is used up when you use a rune, just as with a spell scroll. With every circle you enter, you learn to use further runes as well. Use the power of the runes to recognize yourself. I am ready to enter the second circle. You have learned to understand the runes. Now it is time to deepen this understanding. When you join the second circle, you will learn the foundations of peanuts. stronger battle spells and above all, the secret of healing. But Eating you some peanuts and you want drinking some, I think this is Pepsi Max. You know that you can use every rune as often as you like until you've used up all your own powers. But before you act, think about the point of your actions. You have obtained powers with which you may easily conjure up death and destruction. But a true magician only uses magic when it's necessary. Understand the situation, then you'll recognize the power of the runes. A true magician uses his swords to cut down scavengers and then this is magic when necessary. Or something. Could you teach me the third circle? The third circle of magic is one of the most important steps in the life of a magician. Once you've reached it, you cease to be a seeker. 
You have already come far on the path of magic. You've learned to use the runes. This knowledge is the foundation for your further path. Use the runes with deliberation. You may use a rune or not, but you must decide on one of these possibilities. Do not hesitate to use your powers as soon as you've made your choice. Understand your path, then you'll recognize the power of the decision. Not like this. But I actually just find play Dota, but yeah. All three of these games are great. So but with Ma Mass Effect, uh, it's it's kind of, it started really good. I think the first game is actually the strongest, but then with the, the original trilogy is still very good. Uh, but second and third game, I think, are a li little bit worse than the first one. Of course, they're better in terms of graphics and so on, but uh, as far as gameplay goes, I think I prefer the first one. Um, but yeah, then the ones after that are not, not that good. But yeah, the, the original Mass Effect trilogy is definitely very much worth playing. And yeah, Gothic, Gothic 2, very good games. Marvin, also a great game. But of, of the three, obviously, I like Gothic the best. Um, I think you've enough for this. The fourth circle. You have completed the first three circles. Now is the time for you to learn the secrets of magic. The magic of the runes is based on the stone. They are magic stones created out of magic ore. It is the same ore which is collected in the mines. This ore is endowed with magic formulas in the temples. There the runes are converted to the instruments of our power. With the runes you control now, you have the entire knowledge of the temples of the realm at your fingertips. Understand the magic, then you'll discover the secret of power. I'd like to wear the high robe of water. The time has come. You are worthy. I don't think it's German bias. It's like water. this is like the one German game that I'm absolutely may you return um, in peace on board with. No really other German game that I, I like this and like Gothic 2. And like also like Risen uh that's also from the same developer. But other than that, I'm not really a huge opponent of particular German games. It's like these games, like let's say the Anno series that uh, is from Germany, I don't really care too much for that. But I don't think it's a German bias, I just, I just think these games are really Hello. good. I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. That's good news. They want to meet you and Lester at your usual rendezvous. Thanks. There's nothing more valuable than good friends in troubled times like these. You're almost one of us by now. You're reliable. Why did you take part in one of the gang's raids? Who says I did? Why would you have Why so much a of a stunt if it wasn't true? Never Don't you think that this is all from one hall? You take part in raids regularly? If I did, I couldn't tell you. Lee wouldn't like that one bit. I see. Drinking caffeine to prepare for Dota. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play Dota later. What have you got planned now? Our entire defense strategy will have to be changed. That is mostly just like that takes coke. time. Until Lee and his people are ready, I'll join Cord's provisional guard. Not so much for the caffeine. Are you planning a counterattack? Not yet, but the day will come. If ever you're looking for me, start here and walk towards the mine. I'll be on guard there. Hello. Was there anything else? Um, no. How's it going? Everything's quiet. Nothing's moving in the free mine. Lee is still busy organizing our defense. See you later. Yeah, I just finished the first Mass Effect one or two weeks ago. That's a great game. The one thing I, I don't like as much about the um, the sequels is that they're like moving away from the whole RPG thing, and it's it's more like a more like a first person shooter with RPG elements rather than the other way around. And obviously, I like RPGs a lot better than than FPS games. Um, so twenty uh, skill points available. Uh, 
Um, I have the fourth circle, which is uh, like really powerful. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like, still, of course, still it's an RPG in some sense, but uh, I'm glad you've joined. Uh, like us. the shooter aspects are a lot more pronounced in the second and third one. Show me your goods. Show me what you got. Um, okay, I already have those. Oh, okay. okay. Um, do you have any like interesting rings for me? Not really, no. If you're injured, I will heal you. Good to know. Okay. So let's buy some nice mantle grooms. The Kronos. What? Talk to For me. the honor of magic, your decision to join the magicians of water was right. Be welcome, brother. May For the honor talk to you. of magic. Mm. <laughs> let's let's see what he what he uh, what he says now. If I say I'd like to join you, and I've already joined them. I'd like to join you. If you want to join us, you should see Lee or Laris. Okay. That wasn't very funny. Um, Satyrus said you had a reward for me. As the keeper of the ore, I'd like to give you a small portion of our ore for your great deeds on behalf of the camp. I hope you'll make as good use of it as we do. It's not magic, just purity of will. I want to acquire magic writings. Any particularly good rings here or amulets or anything like that? Not really. Oh, we already talked to him. That, that chapter. So let's see. Ice bolt is not very useful. Let's get lightning bolt. Light is always nice. Ice is nice. You don't can't actually, can't actually cast that yet, but um, let's just get it in prep. Ice bolt. Uh, ice block. Healing, I guess. Storm of fire. Let's just get everything. Pretty much so we should use all these nice weapons Ooh. okay may I pass uh, do I still make political videos uh, no I never really made the political videos in the narrow sense. It was more like videos about history that also that sometimes was a touch on politics. But like for example, I made one video about climate change, which of course is uh, kind of political. Um, but I never made any videos about politics as such. Um, but of course, if you want to know anything about my political stance, you can ask me. As it says in the title, you can ask me anything. Yeah, I made one about uh, Greta Thunberg and sort of climate change in general. Um, so what's our quest now? Yeah, let me talk to Sardas. Yeah, if, if you're aware of my second channel, um, um, that's uh, it, it's linked on my on my like Dota channel. That's, that's my second channel is also linked there. Um, you can see my videos there. Uh, they're mostly about history, but 
Ja. So I just sort of stopped doing videos on that other channel, which actually started earlier. Um, just because I was getting like, almost no engagement, almost no views and so on, on on that. And then I got like a decent number of views on my Dota stuff. So I just um, decided to just focus on the Dota stuff. It's kind of sad when you put a lot of effort into videos and then it gets watched by like 20 people. Obviously didn't expect uh, to become famous overnight, but you know, at least at least like this is like some sort of engagement with it would be nice. Yeah, and that's uh that's why I basically stopped doing videos on that channel. I mean I'm I'm probably gonna continue uh, uh, some videos there in the future, but at least for now I'm focusing on other stuff. Now we need to go deep into the orc territory. Probably been there once. Now we need to go back there. Kill some of these uh, lesser critters on the way. I think actually my heavy mercenary armor is actually better than this uh, thing. Oops. How did it take so little damage here? Um, so. Is 70 okay it's also 70. So this gives me 10 against arrows, 35 against fire, nothing against mag it's magic. Yeah, this is just in every way better. Arrow of water. Um at least Dota isn't as dirty as politics. Um yeah, I mean the 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 big thing about uh, Dota is you can just uh, mute people. Or, and, and at worst, you can just disconnect, but, you know, politics, even if you don't care about politics, politics cares about you. That's the problem. This patient is not, is kind of mandatory. That is the big problem with politics. But essentially, it's all about forcing coercion. Um, I should have killed those guys. Oh, actually, should, should, should just actually start using my my new found magic. Because, okay, now we're they love these dogs, let's kill them. I think it's that protection in this game is like so strong. They have a good armor. Just take almost no damage. Two things. Let's um, let's actually start using some of my magic stuff. Um, so we'll put this one on seven. This one on four, and this one on five. magic is quite strong. Once you get in the fourth circle. And then kill these guys without any spending mana.
Oh, actually, you need to not run into that, those filers. That's they're actually really dangerous. Might just kill me. Kill some more orcs. For some reason, I can target these plants with my fire, which makes no sense. But okay. One of the cool things you can do in, in this game is actually you can just... Um, Release those spells without paying any mana and uh, still do some damage. That's pretty cool. And a pretty effective tactic and like the only way you can actually fight with magic in, in melee range. Otherwise it's always going to get interrupted. This guy the old fashioned way. Yeah, it's, it's not a very good speed run though. Like, uh, I think that there's a there's a run that also does it does it without sort of any reloading or, or dying, and it does it like in half the time or something. But yeah, those are like the uh, the oldest videos on my channel, like back from like 2009 or something, and they're in like completely unwatchable bad quality, like 240p or something. But you know, it's like even by the standards of 2009, that was a uh, pretty bad quality. Yeah, I really don't actually recommend you to, to watch that stuff. Uh, any videos I have private? Um, not really. I, there's like I think like two videos where I accidentally uh, uploaded the um, like the unedited version of uh, the video. I think those are the only two. And of course, the edited version of that video is, is available. Um, so, let's get these guys out, these are not actually that weak. Okay, to fight them. Okay, they're actually quite weak. I lied. Okay, so now we're supposed to deal with these uh, golems here, but we already did that earlier, just to get the hearts. So, that's a nice prep. That was actually cool, uh, the sort of uh, attention detail here. So, uh, here was the uh, stone golem that's uh, impervious to... Um, to, uh, to attacks uh, with anything except uh, blunt uh, force so you need some sort of uh, blunt weapon like a mace and then here's his guy with a skeleton with an with an axe 
Um, we apparently died to the skull, and that's this kind of like nice little attention detail in this game. Another guy with the sword trying to lay some of the other golems, which like the fire golem that can only be killed by magic damage, and the ice golem that can only be killed by fire damage. Yeah, okay, we have this demon here. Hold on, who, who who's talking to me? You are talking to me? How did you get into my head? <sighs> you are what? The servant of your master? You seem to be a creature from hell. <sighs> you want me to be silent? <laughs> I have to talk to your master. <sighs> Me? Unworthy? What kind of test? <sighs> ah, I understand. Great conversation. Whoever wants to talk to your master must prove worthy first. Hold on, what was that? The proof? Victory over what? Victory over the elements? Stone? Ice? Fire? Here's the heart of a stone golem. <sighs> What? Right! Worthy proofs! Missing? Two are still missing? Is this heart of an ice golem the proof? <sighs> Duality? The second proof? One is still remaining? What about this heart of a fire golem? <sighs> Perfection? I'm worthy? If that's the case, I'd like to speak to your master now. Counter evidence? What kind of counter evidence? A rune? A rune for me? Well, then I'll accept the rune of teleportation as a sign of worthiness. <sighs> Mortal? Who? Me? Okay, I'm on my way. Great conversationalist. I actually got it right. I had no idea about the combination, but apparently. Maybe I just got lucky, or maybe I just remember it somehow. Um, right, now I need the rune. Where is it? So. Right, I have six on my. Wait, 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 wait a sec. Let's use this for now. Next is supposed to be my ball lightning. Let's put transform blood fly as seven. And let's look this at nine. There's a weird bug that when you put uh, something on the uh, on the letter nine, find something to nine, then he automatically draws his weapon. One of the, one of the problems with this uh, game is that it has quite a lot of bugs. I'm not just talking about meat bugs. So let's go and talk to Zardas. Who dares to disturb me in my studies? My name is... I don't wish to know your name. It's insignificant. All that matters is that you're the first person in years to have solved my golem's riddles. Have there been any other visitors? Not many. And when they began to annoy me, I confronted them with one of my supernatural creatures. You enjoy being on your own, don't you? I was sent by Saturus. We need your help. The magicians of water plan to use their big ore mound. The ore mound is not the solution. It isn't? No. 
All the magicians of fire are dead. Gomez had them assassinated. That does not surprise me. Those foolish barbarian butchers in the castle, especially Gomez, were never to be trusted. Caristo and the other magicians elected their own hangman when they helped Gomez to usurp the power. Yeah, it does, but that's certainly... Um, what, what, what I like about this game is that people don't just worship the crowd we tread on, like, oh, you're this powerful, super cool hero. No, it's like, the, the, he sees this uh, uh, extremely powerful necromancer who wants to be left alone. He's not just going to be impressed just because you um, killed some golems. The so-called sleeper is said to be an evil arch demon. That's what the Brotherhood in the Swamp found out. Now the Magicians of Water believe that everybody in the colony is in great danger. There is a greater danger than anyone within the barrier could possibly imagine. If the explosion of the ore mound doesn't avert the great danger... Forget the ore mound. Its power won't open the barrier. If Caristo and Satyrus hadn't wasted their time fighting over foolish and vain issues throughout the past years, they'd all know what I know now. Which is? None of the Twelve Magicians ever stopped to wonder why the formation of the barrier got beyond their control, or why it assumed such gigantic proportions. Did you find out why that happened? Well, one thing is certain. The answer lies deep beneath the Orc Town. The Orc Town? Orcs are not animals, as many people think. Their culture is as old as the human culture. A few centuries ago, five orc shaman invoked a very old archdemon, which they hoped would give their clan the power to defeat the Shaman? Okay. This archdemon, yeah. was it the sleeper? The orcs gave him that name much later. But I won't tell you why they did it, or why they are now terrified by the supernatural creature. Why not? I believe you could be... No. To be really sure, you'll have to perform another task. Which task? Listen carefully. The orcs have exiled one of their shamans from the town. Why have they exiled him? The dying orc warrior was no longer able to answer that question when he was interrogated by one of my demons. What does this orc shaman have to do with my task? He'll tell you the rest of the story about the sleeper. An orc shaman is hardly likely to be keen on talking to me. Do you want me to help you or do you not? Well, yes, but... Then never question my words again. Find the shaman. He's not on good terms with his brothers in the orc town. So he may listen to you before turning you into a living torch. Very comforting. Where is this exiled shaman? Go to the old citadel in the east. You can't miss it. It's on top of a high mountain which can be seen from a distance. Can you just enter it? They call it the Old Citadel, but there's hardly anything left of it other than the foundation walls. It's been a ruin for many decades. I will get the answers from this shaman. My servant has already given you a teleportation ruin for the pentagram one floor below. That will make it easier for you to get back here later. I'm seeking magic knowledge. This might uh, be useful. Um, Demon skeletons. I guess I'll take on some of these. Whatever. Give you some of my lesser weapons. And keep the change. I actually find the idea really cool of having like this this magician's tower that you just like can't enter unless by magic there's no stair or anything like that the only way to get in or out is just uh, through magic I guess you can get out by just jumping down 
not necessarily good for your health. So up there is the old fort. That's where we headed. So of course these blood flies are very very useful. Allows us to move around much faster. Which is great. We also get past these orcs without fighting them. I mean fighting them would give us some nice experience, that's fine, but but it's faster. Okay. Safety save. Potions into us. Okay. This is actually some of the uh, strongest uh, creatures in the game. It's Orc Temple Warriors. I think they're kind of distracted by fighting the Orc Shaman. The easy prey. Ooh, shock. The Orc Shaman. Oh, thanks, stranger. Bad orcs won't kill me. Old brothers, today enemies. Who are you? Name Urshak. Be son of the spirit. People call Shaman. How do you know our language? Urshak be slave of humans in mine. Run away. Happened many winters ago. You were a slave in the mine? Which mine? Mine be under village in Hollow. Why do your brothers fight you? Urshak in disfavor. They smirch creed in Krushak. Believe Krushak bad demon. What does Krushak mean? Humans call sleep. You mean sleeper? That's humans say sleeper. What do you know about the sleeper? Be five brothers. Be many winters ago. Be sons of spirit like Urshak. You mean five shaman? Call Krushak. One defeat clan of enemy. Five brothers then build temple under earth for Krushak. A subterranean temple for the sleeper? That's what Zardos must have meant when he spoke about the entrance being in the Orc Tower. What happened in the underground temple? Brothers that give heart to Krushak. But Krushak be bad. Krushak curse all who build temple. Brothers have no heart. Be dead and live. Be both. Krushak now have heart of brothers. Heart now be power for Krushak. What happened to the workers who built the temple? Krushak curse all. Workers too. Be all dead and live. Both at same time. Didn't the orcs at the surface do anything about it? They seal temple. Brothers today worship Krushak. Krushak gets sacrifice. So no become bad. Urshak think sacrifice bad thing. I said Krushak bad. Brothers no one to hear. Brothers say Urshak go. Brothers hit Urshak. I need to enter the underground temple. Can you take me there? Urshak say thanks to stranger. Stranger say Urshak. But entry of temple be home. Urshak home no can go. I see. You mean they won't let you go back into the York town? Well, looks like I'll have to fight my way through. Brothers home very strong. Brothers be very many. Stranger no go. Many warriors. Stranger die. Other sons of spirit home. Stranger make fire. Then stranger die. Then stranger die. Okay, okay, but I have to find a way into the temple. Urshak no way. 
Stranger where Ulumulu. Ulumulu? What's an Ulumulu? The sign of friendship. Brothers respect Ulumulu. Stranger where Ulumulu, then stranger no die. No die. Where can I get this Ulumulu? Stranger, go see friend of Urshak. Friend of Urshak, come Ulumulu. Stranger, where Ulumulu, then stranger no die. Yeah, yeah, I have the no die bit all right, but where can I find your friend? Friend of Urshak in mind of humans. Friend, no run away with Urshak. Friend, be ill then. Were you held in the free mine? Urshak prisoner in mine under village in hollow. Urshak think people call so. Thanks for your help. Urshak say thanks to stranger. Stranger say Urshak. Stranger now friend of Urshak. Friend take present. Take Urshak talisman. Talisman protect from breath of fire lizard. Urshak can no go home. Urshak now live here. Friend come when need help. I may take you up on your offer. You want us to just kill all these innocent orcs? The problem is we still need the Ulumulu to actually uh, trigger chapter 5. You know, it is of course possible to just fight your way through and not use the Ulumulu. Okay, so let's go back to type designers. Yeah, but in the orc town, there's also lots of civilians. Lots of uh, normal civilian orcs that just sit around the fire, bang their drums, and don't go out hunting humans. It would be like, like if, say, there's like a, a, a couple of policemen who, are, who attack an innocent person and then you go to to the town where the policemen live and just uh, slaughter everyone. I'm seeking magic knowledge. Um, okay, that's not useful. Summon demon. Let's get some demons. Summon demons some, la some later. Um... Not really necessary to summon demons, but okay. Where's my ore? Um, I have the answers from the Orc Shaman. Well, then report. The five Orc Shaman that invoke the Sleeper built him an underground temple. His entrance is in the Orc Town. That's right. Ungrateful as he was, he tore out their hearts and condemned them and the workers to an eternal existence as undead creatures. Very good, very good. The orcs locked the temple and started making sacrifices to appease the demon. Have you found a way to enter the temple? Yes, there's an orc who... No details. Go to the underground temple. There you'll find the only way to destroy the barrier. I don't understand. Didn't you call on me to help with the destruction of the barrier? That's right, but... Then go. A lot of time has already been wasted. Go into the underground temple to find the answer. Okay. Have you spoken to Zardus? The whole thing's not the way you think. What do you mean? He needs to find a way how to blow up the ore mound. The ore mound, uh, it's grown very high. Find Zardus. He needs the help. Kind of awkward. For the honor of magic. Um, one fifth circle. May you return in one piece? We have 30 points exactly. Not actually I'm that glad useful. you come. 
I've been expecting you. You've been expecting me? Why? Gorn asked me to send you to him as soon as you arrived. What's up? He has a plan to free the occupied mine. Is he still guarding the entrance to the mine? Yes. Please see him as soon as possible. Um, let me see. Do we want that? Yeah, let's let's just go it for another way. Let's get the circle. For the honor of magic. I am ready to enter the fifth circle. So be it. I shall teach you the power of the fifth circle. The storm of fire, the wave of ice, and the power to destroy the undead are now spells whose runes you can use. But the mightiest spell of the fifth circle is the ripple of death. If you ever possess this rune, you'll have dangerous powers. Be careful to use this kind of magic as little as possible. It's a gift from the god of darkness. You have now learned everything I can teach you. Expose your limits, then you'll recognize your true power. May you return in one piece? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this guy is busy studying the past like 20 years. Doesn't have time to talk to us for five minutes, even though we're about to save the whole colony. And I guess the world or something. Okay. Actually, let's look at our that we have this one. This is pretty good. Do we have any better drinks? No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, actually, actually, I wanted to learn actually level uh, one hand level level two. I need twenty learning points for that as well. We'll get some points here. We we'll take the free mine. You're just in time. We're preparing our counterattack. Taking back the free mine is the first step. You're planning to retake it with just four men? Where are all the mercenaries? A frontal attack is no good. Gomez's people are too well entrenched for that. But we could run a stealth mission, eliminating one man after another. That could work. Lee asked me to give you a message. As a magician of the Circle of Water and an experienced fighter, you have been chosen to carry out this mission. I'll go with you. Together we can make it. And as it turns out, we're just going to do a frontal assault anyway. That's the two people. The first step? What will be the second? As soon as the mine is ours again, we'll start looking for the mountain pass that Gomez's people used in the raid. When the pass is closed, the situation will be under control again. I see. Why me of all people? You've already proved more than once that you can be brave and clever at the same time. Besides, you know the old camp and the guards better than most of us. You are the best man for this difficult job. Okay, let's go and teach the unwelcome guests of the mine a lesson. I didn't expect you to say anything else. Here, take this key. It opens the gatehouse in front of the entrance to the mine. Action general legend says something about kicking their asses, not just teaching them a lesson, but okay. Let's fight. Um So we'll retake the free mine after this brief break. I'll be back in a minute or two.
Okay. Let's continue. Oh, I nearly forgot. The rogue wolf wants to talk to you urgently before we leave for the mine. Then I'd better go there now. You do that. I'll wait for you right here. Take some more drugs. Game is all about drugs and other illicit substances to boost our abilities. I wouldn't okay. mind forgetting about this little argument. Gorn said you wanted to talk to me urgently. I'm glad you dropped by before you left. Before I go where? Before you go to visit the not-so-free mine. What's up? I've had an idea how to produce a completely new armor. Oh, and how's that? The mine crawler's armor plates are the hardest material I know. I don't mean the small, harmless specimens found in Gomez's buried mine. No, not them. There's a far more dangerous kind in our mine. The armor of these beasts is nearly impenetrable. If you could bring me some of these armor plates, I could try to make armor from them. How can I remove the plates from those beasts? Well, that's quite easy. The back plates are only joined to the body around the edges. Just take a razor blade and cut along the dotted line. Okay, I get it. I'll, I'll see if I can find those armor plates. And I think I wanna beat you up once again. Actually, falling, anyway. uh, actually running away from me now. He's so scared. Require some additional funds here. I think I haven't beaten those guys up yet. Why not? You're already dead. You, you just don't up? know it. I'm just stealing the, the weapon from this guy. <laughs> Be funny. Okay. Let's go back to Gorn. Hello. Let's set out for the mine. It's time to drive the guards out of there. You go on ahead. I'll follow. Okay, it's one of those missions where yeah, I might just mess me up, so see. Gorn is actually really buggy. I see even, it's even like a bug where sometimes Gorn actually starts attacking you. Because he sees you kill um, one of the uh, one of the guards there. And that triggers him to attack you. Sometimes, but not always. Also, like if you run uh, too far, too far um, away from him, he might just spawn from like a um, bad angle and he might get stuck somewhere and you're, you're caught in... Uh, in like this infinite loop where he uh, um, wants to initiate a dialogue with you. And there's nothing to do but reload. Probably some frequent saving here. Like this. And 
sometimes he just gets stuck there when you run towards you and then they hunt in packs like snappers but they bite much harder you know, it's just game over we basically do away with them you know me i like to know what's at my back <laughs> This guy is supposed to be here from the early game. Happens we never went here. The sequence with this uh, wolf rat being chased by a wolf is still playing out now. Another little more rat. Didn't get eaten by the razors. Razors in this game don't do any lightning damage. Hold on. Do you see all these corpses? You go down to the entrance to the mine. I'll stay here and make sure that we don't get a nasty surprise thrown at us from behind. When you're down there, I'll follow. Sounds like a plan. If we go to, into this area before the fourth chapter, of course, there's just like regular mining operations going on here. All these guys that are corpses now are alive then. There's like a minor quest down here, but it's nothing too important. And all these guys have been killed by the guards, taking over the mine, and then they have um, some guards posted here at the entrance. We're just gonna run past those. So these guys have um, cross bolts, which are actually quite dangerous weapons. But they're not actually very useful weapons to have for you as a player character. But the thing is uh, that um, uh, these uh, um, cross bolts do arrow damage, which is hard to actually get protection from. So if you look at my my stats here, I have 100 protection against uh, regular melee weapons, but only 30 against arrows. Even though, the, even though these uh, crossbows don't do that much damage, I have hardly any armor against them, so they actually end up being quite dangerous. It's actually a very easy way of dealing with these guys. I'm going to show you now. And there is, I'm just going to pa jump past them here. And. Do this. This is uh, turn turns open the entrance to the mine, and then we're just gonna take a nap. Lagoon is down here, and since he's invincible, you can easily deal with these guys. That makes everything much easier. I'm just gonna let Gorn execute these guys so that we can actually turn Gorn hostile. A bit of the coward's way, but it works. Hello! You've knocked down my pal. What was that for? Knocked on his pal, so that's let's fight. I knocked on his pal, that's because I knocked on some of these guys. Actually, he thinks like these are just like regular townspeople, when in fact, they're his mortal enemies. So, kind of confused. Uh, as I said, this game is a bunch of bugs. Um, okay, so I have a speed potion. I actually want to wait for the speed potion to end. This guy's actually dead. You know, still moving. I want the speed potion to end so that I can take the next speed potion. Because it don't stack. 
If you already have a speech potion running and you take another speech potion, it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't extend the duration. It doesn't refresh the duration either. So this is one of the more dangerous parts uh, of uh, the game. Might possibly die here. Yeah? Probably not. Just gonna take the cowards way out. Come down here. Get away from the arrows. Let go and deal with this nonsense. And just fight the minecrawlers here. There's one guard. Shouldn't be a problem. One is not watching, so we can do this. Take these plates. We're gonna need later. Make this uh, new armor that Wolf has been talking about. Let's jump. Go. We fall down, then we don't die. We take a bunch of damage. Let me talk to this guy. That's the orc slave that we're supposed to speak with. Tarak need help. Tarak hurt. Are you a friend of Urshak, the shaman? Urshak be slave like Terok. Urshak run away. Be gone many winters ago. Your friend said you could make an Ulu Mulu for me. Terok very weak. No medicine. Terok die. Stranger bring medicine. Then Terok help. I need okay. to move on. Stranger come again. Put some more of these guys. Or the crit. Second hit. Well fought. Good enough. I have more than enough plates, I think. I'll just take like another one or two. Definitely be enough color plates. There's our orc medicine. Where do you go? Want to see something funny? I'm sure something funny. They have the orc medicine. Effect unknown. What do you think? What, what do you think happens when I drink this? Oh. <laughs> Of course it makes sense because uh, otherwise you just get rid of an important quest item. So yeah, that makes sense. What happened here? Tyrock here captured by blue soldiers. Suddenly red soldiers everywhere. Red soldiers kill everything. Tyrock flee here. Red soldiers no go here. 
Mit so ja. viel Ach, nice. Look. Die Gäste. Help, Tarak hört. Uh, can I do for you? What can I do for you? Tarak needs strong medicine. Tarak else die. What kind of medicine? Das look, poison Tarak. Tarak need medicine. Tarak have medicine, but Tarak lost. Tarak no find. Here, I found your medicine. Stranger no bad like other people. Stranger good. Tarak, oh thanks. Can you give me an Ulumulu now? Stranger help Tarak. So Tarak help Stranger too. Stranger need growth hack, cast hack, crash car, and orth untack. Stranger bring, then Tarak make Ulumulu. Seems simple enough. What is a crow tack? Be tongue of fire. Be tongue of fire, lizard. Where can I find a fire lizard? Fire lizard live home. Home of Tarak. Stranger needs search. Also find fire lizard on sand near sea. What does Kaztec mean? Be horn of shadow beast. Horn sharp as knife and hard as stone. Where can I find shadow beasts? Live in forest or cave. No like light. Be very dangerous. Stranger, watch out. Dwak car? What is that? Be teeth of swamp shark. If teeth bite, victim never escape. Where can I find swamp sharks? Many swamp sharks in camp of humans. Camp in swamp, of course. What is an orth antac? Be tooth of big troll. Make big hole in prey. <clears throat> Where can I find trolls? Troll live in mountain. Troll love large space. Stranger, go seek in North Mountain. But we wear of troll fist. If fist strike, then stranger fall off mountain. I need to move on. Stranger, come again. Okay. Come again later. Uh, a bit awkward jumping in this game. There we go. I think we can't jump in this direction. So, do some more. So we don't fall here. Fine. That should be fine. Fight me, bro. Okay, now. Oops, hit my microphone there. Need to get out of this mine. Bone is here. Jump up here. Uh, 
just go, let's just have go and deal with this guy. See if we can climb up there without being shot at. Corner is not the smartest of people. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Gorn is not nearby, because like if sometimes they just if you kill people near Gorn, he just sometimes aggro's you and since he's invulnerable and does a lot of damage, that's not very good. I need to take uh both of the rest of the of the mine here. The game will pretend that we actually freed the mine even though we didn't. Oh man, that was a really tough fight. I'd never have thought Gomez's guards would offer that much resistance. The main thing is that we've driven them out of our mine again. I'll stay here and make sure it stays that way. See you later. Okay, let's... This? Let's take a slight risk here. The slight risk I'm taking here is that uh, in this form I have very little HP and I'm getting aggro by all humans. Unless they run away. These guys might actually run away. Because like whether they run away depends on the level. Right over here. Okay, let's go to on the troll here. The troll is obviously quite dangerous. They're huge and a lot of damage. So there should be a troll here. Yep, there it is. So um, there's some different ways of doing of, of fighting the troll. You can just hit him with your with a weapon. Um, I'm gonna try here is. Holding magic here. Let's summon a demon and shrink this guy. Is that enough mana? Hopefully, I would have actually enough mana. There's our demon. Drink monster. What? Now we're going to try to shrink this troll. We have to actually and then shrunk it this is just uh dies with me. 
you actually have to have to something have to have something like a demon there just to to help you out. Otherwise, the troll is just gonna run at you and uh, you can't actually complete the spell in time. Actually, um, so this old one is supposed to be collapsed, but actually it's usually actually just open. So you go in there. I think no, it's it's closed actually. Sometimes that's a bug that the mine is actually still open. Um, and you can just go into the mine regularly and. But no, this this time it's actually closed. We have the demon is still nearby. Do we need that? Not really. Not really that useful. We can actually fight our own demon and actually get experience for it. We can fight for an experience for that guy. Pretty nifty. Um, so, let's see. A shadow beast. Actually, let's teleport to the swamp camp. Um, teleport to the swamp camp. And we're gonna find obviously a swamp shark. And then um, we can also find a shadow, be shadow beast uh, not that far away. And once we have that Ulumulu complete, um, we're gonna get into, the, into chapter 5. And chapter 5 and 6 are fairly short. So... I'm guessing it's gonna be like another hour and maybe an hour and a half. So that's... yes... Uh, a... Womp Shark. There we go. Um, start with the swamp camp again. Uh, oops. Supposed to happen. There we go. So, there's a shadow beast nearby, and then we need a fire lizard. So, fire lizards are really dangerous creatures. If they get near us, they do a lot of damage. They don't have a lot of fire resistance. They might just. One hit might be doing so much damage that you're not going to be able to recover. Because you're also going to be stunned for a bit if you get hit by them. Storm of Fire. They should be calling it Firestorm. There's actually two Shadow Beasts there. Oh, actually, that's that kind of a bug that, uh, yeah, that's that kind of like a, a, something that sucks. That if you if someone is something's on fire, they draw a weapon, it's actually gonna burn uh, down much faster. I didn't actually realize that it was actually burning still. Otherwise, I wouldn't have drawn the weapon because it's kind of like abusing this bug. But at the same time, if you, wanna, if you do want to fight back, you kind of have to draw your weapon. That's like one of the most annoying bugs in this game. Anyone else want some? Magic is fun. Okay, some more potions. 
So where do I best get the Gachluk or whatever that's no, it's actually Gachluk was the mine crawler, right? Um so fire lizard, whatever that's in Orcish. Level up. So we still have this is on six, ball lightning. That's the spell we wanna want against they want against these fire lizards because uh the fire lizards are immune against fire. Makes sense. So we need uh, magic damage. And we're gonna fight them in, in melee form, obviously. So that means either ranged weapons or magic. Magic damage. So there's like uh, four like basic types of damage in this game. There's like uh, weapon damage, arrows, fire, and magic. So um, here we want the ball lightning, which is magic damage. So die quite fast. I actually just want to kite these guys because I don't want to die. And wait until they turn around. That's like a ability to look behind you but it's sort of if it's on this incline it kind of doesn't work properly take this guy out we just need one we just need to separate them from the herd and there we go we have our fire lizard and the almost magicians of fire Okay. So now let's waff another potion. All of these. All of these. And let's go. Now we just need to get back into the uh, mine, and uh, then it's chapter five time. Chapter five, we go into the final dungeon of the dungeon of the game, and then the rest of the game is basically just doing that dungeon uh, with like a little a little side mission, like a little mission in between. Um, actually, get Greetings. one hand level two from this guy. Teach me how to handle one-handed. We've actually gotten that a long time ago. Okay, you know the basics. Holding the weapon lower down will put more force into your first strike. Use the swing, remember? Now you need to use your body more. When you've struck twice, spin around. That'll confuse the opponent and put you in an excellent position. Then bring your blade across from right to left once more. And back to the front. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. So get going and become a real master of the art of one-handed fighting. By the way, that's actually really terrible advice for sword fighting. But I think it's kind of like cool for the flavor that they, they give you this sort of advice here. But of course, in like actual sword fighting, doing these kinds of huge exaggerated motions is actually really bad. This is even a double-edged sword. Uh, it kind of looks like a single-edged sword, but he's still uh, hitting with the blunt side of the sword. Kind of awkward, but okay. I mean, I don't expect too much realism from a game like that. Ah! You see? I just actually... Uh, have you seen more tower? Uh, you mean the game Mortal or the uh, fighting technique Mortal or what? The game, um, I think I've seen like one or two videos of it, but uh, I haven't played it or anything like that.
We can actually actually perform a mortal in the in the game mortal. What actually that actually refers to is um, like uh, uh, basically holding your sword backwards. It's uh, you like hold your, your sword by your by again. the blade and use it as a, like an improvised mace. Can be a, a useful tactic against opponents in, in heavy armor. Let's see if you can make this jump again. There you go. Yeah, does more damage to armors. Makes sense. I mean, I guess that heavily armored opponent uh, swords are basically pretty much useless. I have all four items for the. Like Again, if they have like a, if they have mail, then uh, um, comes, you know, piercing my soul, uh, do something, must still be 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 strong, be stab them. Proud, but if they have like now. good plate armor, that's still that's not going to do anything unless you manage to hit any of the joints in the armor. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, half stone thinking as well. But just just for for the zweihander. Not for other weapons. Other swords. It's also a technique you can use with a long sword, for example. Or perhaps even like with an arming sword or something like that. Or the, a one handed weapon. Okay, so this is the end of. That's an interesting orc four. standard you have there. Is that from the former orc slave in the mine? It's an orcish symbol for friendship. I want to enter the orc town with it. I hope for your sake that the orcs will respect this thing. See you later. Guardians of the portal. There you see all these uh, peaceful orcs just banging their drums. As orcs I want to do. Um, just one second. All right, so um, chapter five, so maybe we can pick up some more stuff. Um, For the honor of magic. Let's Show me you have. Goods. Okay, let's get these really good speed potions. Get some of these, just in case. And... Get some of these, why not? Get all the things here. Yeah, but crossbows. There we go. Um, so I have no learning points available actually.
So let's let's uh, do another poll. Should I slaughter the innocent orcs? Um. Uh, where's poll? Manage poll. Um, new poll. Should I commit orc genocide? Yes, no. Do three minutes. So let's see how, how bloodthirsty you people are. Um, right, here we are. That's out for Zardas. Oh, actually, nothing. No new I'm seeking options magic here. Anything new here? Um, this. I don't need that. I have enough summoning stuff. I guess Army of Darkness. Get some Army of Darkness. Over in the fire could also be potentially useful. Probably not, but might as well get it. And. Let's bow, horn bow. Okay. Um, so it's stuff here, so ice blocks to move fire, wave of ice, let's actually put this on six, we'll destroy undead on seven, let's put This on nine, and that's for the teleport on zero. Actually, now we need need uh, need our blood fly thingy. This on seven for now. Oh, oh I fell down there. It's like a perfectly peaceful way of, of dealing with the orc town. You need to kill any orcs. But let's see if Jet is bloodthirsty. Yes, orc genocide has been approved. Okay. What is that? Just one person warded? Okay, um, I guess I have to kill them all then. Even the youngins. Greed friend. Friend have Ulumulu. Be good. Friend no forget carry Ulumulu in hand when go over bridge. Okay. Talk to Urshak. Urshak we kill all, the, all these people. Urshak now looking find own Ulumulu. Maybe Urshak go home with old Ulumulu. Friend, come when need help. Take care. You're not gonna need uh, the Ulumulu because everyone's gonna be dead. What are you doing so close to the town? Urshak watch brothers in home. Urshak believe Krushak awake soon. 
Urshak wait here. Find Krushak when wake up. The sleeper will wake up soon? I hope you're wrong. Considering all I've heard of the Archdemon so far, I'd prefer him to be asleep. At our last meeting, you told me that your brothers had sealed the temple. Urshak brothers sealed temple in Earth very good. Friend, no can go in. Friend use magic from brothers who be sons of spirit like Urshak. Where can I find this magic? Must go in caves of brothers who be sons of spirit like Urshak. But friend must watch out when use magic. Brothers of Urshak no like. Ulumulu no help when friend use magic. Friend now must take figure from column. Figure now open door to temple hall. Okay. Hope they cleared everything, everything up. Uh, so let's do this. And then let's do some genocide. Stop turning. Okay. Do you have any good artifacts here? Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, just the protection stuff. I have one other against weapon. Be pretty good. See if we can do this. Genociding and guys, normal ordinary orcs. We're gonna kill them all. That's what chat demands. Okay. Actually, let me. Is it nine? I mean, darkness. Let's let's summon. Some how much mana does it cost? I mean, darkness. With darkness, that's twenty-five mana. I can pay that. I mean, army of darkness. Is there a difference in story outcome for killing them all? No, there's not. Doesn't really matter for story purposes. There aren't any sort of alternate ending or endings or anything like that in, in this game. Oh, 
like the story diverged at the start based on what camp you, you choose but after that uh, everything kind of sort of ends up in the same place we're already eight hours in yeah taking slightly longer than i had uh, hoped but we're pretty close to the end now fleeing from us poor guy okay, so I don't actually want to fight the shamans right now if I can help it these guys are really strong watch out a bit and sneeze yeah you can see the shamans actually Making short work of our jellies. Go into this catacombs here. There we find the um, teleport scroll that uh, Urshak talked about. But right here, yeah, there it is. Actually, I think I want to summon a fire demon. Put demon on. That's our demon. There's an eight. And also, we'll take some more speed. Okay, somewhere like the shaman is running to the right for some reason. So what's going on there? What the shaman is doing? But okay. Bring some mana potions. So, how do we deal with these guys? Let's just aggro this temple warrior first. The draw him in. Gothic one, exactly. I actually talked to, her to an Austrian guy on the stream before we had not played this game. Can you imagine the blasphemy? Actually, it's really important not to get hit by, the, by those fireballs. There's so much damage. Yeah, okay, childhood game number one. For me, it was not exactly childhood, but more like uh, um, one of the number one games of my teenage years. I probably like beside Warcraft 3. Uh, do you know what? Uh... Yeah, I, that's that's what I thought as well. How can you be a German-speaking person who hasn't played Gothic? Like, uh, unless you're like, I mean, but like, uh, like you're pretty young, young, right? As well, you like what is like, 19, 20? That's when you've played this game. Even though it came like out uh, probably around the time you were born. Um, do I know what uh, um, non dollar game I'll play next? Um, I'll probably actually do like a like kind of like a variety stream on on uh, New Year's Eve. So um, I'll probably like, play like a couple of different games. Probably play like some maybe some like uh, card games or board games. Uh, like online, maybe play some 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 chess, some magic, um, and maybe some Dota as well. 
probably some alcohol is going to be involved as well. Uh, it's published in 2001, so yeah, that's what it basically came out when you were two. Uh, where's my telekinesis? Telekinesis 8. Started playing Gothic when you were when you were five. Not sure if it's really an appropriate game for five year olds. But okay. So we have this figurine now, and this means we can now open this uh, gate. And it says his statue moves the, moves to the lever, but <laughs> obviously it's our hand that does it. Um. Okay, you're dead and you loved it, okay? Great. So, now we're inside the temple. So, this is the final dungeon of the game. Love the atmosphere in here. What's at the end? Well, we have to see and uh, find out. He has some ominous pictograms here. As hints as to what's to come. Here's some more skeletons. Let's kill, kill, kill a mage first. So, potions. To be honest, I liked Risen a, a bit more. Yeah, Risen is great, at least the, the first one. The other ones, I uh, kind of can live without those. Um, like the second and third Risen were like okay, but uh, not great. The first one was, was great. I think it's like uh, like almost at, at, the, at the level of Gothic 1 and 2, I would say. Um, I look overpowered. Yeah, because the Gothic is a very easy game, so we'll kind of end up overpowered at the end. Um, so what I wanted to get... Death to Undead. Eight, okay. Um, this switch, another switch. And the first one was basically just uh, the word was a combination again. Uh, actually, kind of forgot. Was it? I think it was like middle, left, right. It's been a while since I actually played this game. I guess I've played this game many, many, many times. But it's been a, it's been a while since I actually uh, been in this uh, deeper temple. Oh yeah, that was the correct combination. Yeah, mid left right was correct. Yeah, what what is going on now? What? Yeah. 
Uh, apparently, I'm just somehow went out of bounds here. What is happening? Didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, now it's just guess the camera returning to me now. Okay, everything is fine. Okay. Uh, this is not working as intended. <laughs> but it's fine. I actually forgot to actually pick up my Minecrawler armor. We do that now? Nah, we don't need it. We don't need it. Basically, forgot about that Minecrawler armor. Okay, that guy's dead. What? Up there. Oh. Other skeleton. Die. So what's your what's your opinion on, on Gothic 1 versus Gothic 2? Which one do you think is better? Uh, 8. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's like no like real reason to play Gothic Classic. Hello? Can I hit you? It's, it's just much better game with, with the Night of the Raven uh, expansion. Personally, even, even though like uh, it's like a more polished game, can I hit this guy? Even though Gothic Two is like uh, with uh, not the is like a more polished game than Gothic One, I still uh, prefer the original. Uh, just because it's like uh, I just l like like how abusable the game is and how 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 open the game is, how many things you can do right from the start. Um So now we summoned one of these orc shamans. An infidel in the house of the master. Damned be you. You be damned, you stinky moldy carpet. Wait, come back. The master is uh, the sleeper. So that, that's what Urshak told us before. Yeah, we had these uh, five uh, orc shamans who uh, summoned Urshak or the sleeper. And uh, uh, then he turned them into his undead servants. And so that's just like one of them that I just killed. One of these five shamans. The master is a sleeper. After the none of the Raven part, he was so overleveled. Yeah, it's kind of like that's one of the problems, of course, with these open world games is that uh, depending on what part you do, you do first, like uh, uh, then the later parts can can get a bit easy uh, when you're overleveled. 
but I, I I much prefer that kind of design where you sort of kind of choose where you go first and then some parts get a bit too easy to like a design that you see in, in like these Elder Scroll games where like there's just some there's like level um like there's there's this uh, level scaling where opponents just like level with you and everything just kind of feels the same. I much prefer the approach that we see in, in, in these gothic games. Even some of this leads to a bit unbalanced gameplay. Okay, it's around us here. What? Why am I not hitting this guy? There we go. Yes, at the end we face the sleeper. That's basically the final boss. Although we don't actually fight him directly. Kind of indirectly. But he's like a super powerful demon and once he's awake, once he awakes we wouldn't be actually be able to fight him. Um, I've actually started Alex, but I have, I've only played like two hours or something. Um, definitely when I can return to that though. Might actually even play that on stream, that might be like a good idea, but at first, to do that, I first need to upgrade my PC because I think my PC is can like barely handle streaming Dota. Uh, need to unlock this first. I actually need to like take a quick uh, break. Need to use the loo. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'll turn it to the emote only chat. Um, where's that? That settings, emotes only. See you in a bit. Okay. No emotes being spammed with this. There's some emotes here. What's going on? Okay. Um, let's continue. Where was I? So I haven't unlocked this yet, I think. Okay, it should be here. Temple Guard. So... Like, this is like a really like... I don't really... I don't really get this. Really. Like, I, I, I know which switch I'm supposed to press, but... How do I know which one of these switches? Like, one of these switches opens the door, and the other one... Uh... It's gonna kill me. I've never been able to figure out this riddle. I just know the answer, which was is correct, but... How are we supposed to figure this out? Like, okay, there's these different drawings. There's like this... White road leading to this dark point, and there's like dark road leading to a white point. I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to figure this out. What is this switch? 
this opens the door. And now we can hydrate. Okay. Here's another shaman. I think. Let's actually like uh, summon some stuff here. Help me out. I actually don't want to summon skeletons because it's kind of confusing because there's skeleton enemies as well. They look exactly the same. So what else can I summon? Um, nothing much really. Eh, whatever. Let's just fight him. Straight on. Emo only sucks when trying to, to interact, change my mind. Ah, uh, you're not wrong. So let's put it back to normal. We've had emote only for a little bit here. Um... Okay, uh, suggest a poll. Oh, that's the, that's the poll. That emote only sucks when trying to interact. It changed my mind. Uh, emote only sucks when trying to interact. Now you can just suggest a poll. And that's that. That's the poll subject you want, or what? Okay. Uh, okay, let's make that a poll. Uh, manage poll. Last poll was in favor of orc genocide. This one is about whether emote only sucks. Yes. No. And that poll. Okay. Um so Paste. Mortal. Mortal. Disturb my peace. Prepare for the end. It remains to be seen whose end it's going to be. You worm-bitten meatloaf. Great comeback. Luckily, we have enough protection from magic that this doesn't really help us. Okay, so get this guy's sword, and this other oh, is another nice little trap. This pillar here, if we climb up on, on top of this thing, you're gonna get crushed. Um, and then the sword will set us free. Okay, here. Death to the undead. There's another one, that guy too. <sighs> so hard to quit smoking. Yeah, that sucks. A good thing I never started. Very glad of that. I don't know if I would be able to quit. I started that sort of nonsense. And here with me. I'll send you traveling first, you moldy maggots idea of paradise. 
That's actually kind of clever. Fifty fifty. Okay. Uh all right. Not supposed not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. But I mean emote only is gonna be only gonna be for like two or three minutes. If someone redeems that. Um actually let's let me make sure that I'm not missing any of this stuff where's my light light in the darkness is it where's my light um <laughs> make a reverse emote only redeem option <laughs> Great way of uh, making you waste some channel points. A nice channel point sink. Okay, so we got some nice permanent potions here. Oh, now, nah, okay extra strength and a lot of extra mana which is really nice to have and some extra life yeah the inventory system is not the greatest but at least we have infinite inventory which is uh, i think really useful like yeah it's super unrealistic but uh like the limited inventory systems that other games have are also super unrealistic. It's like, yes, you're not going to be able to carry infinite things, but you're also not going to be able to carry like uh, like ten swords with you in your backpack, like three different suits of armor and whatnot. That's almost as unrealistic. So might as well just go all the way and just go go with the infinite inventory. Come on, come back and go. Um, so how does this work again? I think I need to, just need to shoot this. And there goes the there go these traps. Can I go in here? Yeah, I guess in, in that kind of games it, it makes sense, but yeah. In a game like this, we just want to collect uh, stuff and so on. Yeah, in a game like Skyrim. And it's like, you, you carry around a bunch of stuff and then like you, you carry up like one extra random doodad thingy and then suddenly you overburden, you walk it like a... Uh, ten percent of the movement speed. So annoying. Uh, yeah, there it is. So these gates are now open. Uh, don't lock me in bro so what was the combination again for these guys I'm actually not sure anymore is this the same as before nope that wasn't right 
Summon the demon. Um, then I guess this one is next. Yeah, because you want to collect everything and so on, but then the game sort of sort of forces you to like uh, make. Like very clear decisions about which stuff you're going to pick up and which not, and it just gets annoying. You have to constantly sort of calculate, like, okay, this stuff like weighs like uh, 3.0 and is like worth like 20 gold, uh, is it worth picking up, and that sort of stuff. It's annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna cool this guy down. Easy cut gun. Oops. Oh, the sampler. Have I tried speedrunning games? Never show your face what? Here again. You mean whether I have tried speedrunning games? I actually have like a very old speedrun of, uh, of Gothic on... Uh, like very old, very outdated speedrun of Gothic uh, uh, on my YouTube channel. There's like videos from back like in 2009. Um, although I don't really recommend watching them because they're terrible quality. Um, and there I think I um, finished the game in 3 hours and uh, 20 minutes or something like that. Um, and I was also like, in addition to that, I was also like doing like a, like a hardcore speed with no dying, basically. No dying and no reloading if you make any mistakes. Um, I wanted this one. I think my time is like 3.19 or something, which like is not good at all, but, uh... And like, this is, this is not actually fast. This is like, fast by the like, casual standards, but... I'm like listening to all the dialogue and so on. That's why it's taking so long. But if, if I just like play the game like casually by myself and like not... Don't listen to uh, all the dialogue. I'll I'll actually finish it in like five hours. If I'm not hurrying, especially. Um, are there some permanent potions in here? Yeah, some more strength. Okay. Well, you're gonna see it soon enough. The speedrunning Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and you love it. Great. But actually, like, uh, like. Semi recently tried to like a speedrun of Gothic, uh, um, it's like a bit less shit. Uh, where's my light? Uh, but I didn't really get very far. It's just like a lot of work to do something that's uh, not terrible. But I never really went too far with that. Is that something good down here? I forget.
Okay, this journal. Let's read the journal. Since we're filthy casuals here. Tattered book. There are pages missing. I've lost all sense of time. I suppose it must have been about 23 days ago that the orcs caught us and forced us to work. The work is hard and the bastards know no, know no mercy. If you're weak, you're dead. I went out of here. I don't care how. Day 28. We had to prolong the tunnels even further into the mountain. The front area is already massive. If I only knew where we were going and what we're doing this for. I've heard that these orc priests have no hearts. But if that's true, how come they're still alive? Also, I've seen the swords the priests are so afraid of. If I only had it, I'd smack it straight into their bodies. The sword is lying in a room in the front part of the temple, but it's guarded by a priest. I'm going to flee. I'll leave my diary here. Maybe one day it'll be useful to somebody. Some nice foreshadowing, some nice hits for us. Um... What is your opinion on the current Dota patch just overall? There's no off topic here. You can ask anything here. Um, yeah, I like the patch. I like the patch. Uh, um, like some of the some of the stuff is like a bit unnecessary. Like some of it's just like change for the sake of change. And I'm not sure if I really like this idea of these shards. It's just like uh, I guess power creep. But it's also kind of fun. Kind of, kind of similar deal like with the, um, the neutral items. It's not really necessary, but it like adds another element that is cool and fun to figure out. But uh, yeah, so I, I have what a part I really like about the patch is that it uh, made like and envisage so much better. And it's not actually good for the balance. I think these heroes were like pretty much fine before. And now they're really overpowered, but you know, I'm not one to complain. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely hoping I can actually get uh, to Immortal now that uh, these heroes are overpowered. Yeah, that's definitely like a huge problem. And I, I feel like it's, at some point, Valve has just like given up, just said, you know, fuck it, no one new is gonna play the game anyway, let's just cater to our existing fan base. And just uh, introduce ever more complexity. Which I'm not sure if that's actually a great approach. It's uh, going to be a problem in the long run. Because it just the... Oh, you actually got immortal five years ago. Congrats, congrats. Very nice. What, what heroes did you play? So we need to turn all these switches, although it's not necessary, you can also just jump across with some sort of transformation scroll, but we'll just turn those, uh, uh, just turn those um, switches. Random five heroes, okay. Not really matter specific, okay, interesting. Danu only started Dota beginning of this year. Yeah, so there are, there's some new blood coming in, but it's just not not very many people. And yeah, I think it's definitely a problem that the Dota is just so incredibly complex. And just getting ever more complex all the time. Venge all is banned. Isn't Venge like really bad right now? 728? Like in 728, A, she got, she got some nice uh, buffs. But really, I, I feel like losing the double swap is just such a huge uh, blow to the hero. 
And also, like, the new aura is just much worse for 5 Venge. So let's run here and then fall in the lava. Falling into lava is painful. Yeah, because I, I looked at uh, like the win rate in both uh, Dota, Pl Dota um, Pro Tracker and uh, Dota Buff, and it just went way down. I haven't actually looked at what happened uh, post uh, post the A patch. I don't get why it's always banned. Let's not walk through here. Let's instead go here. Wow, big sword. Oops, it fell down because I drew my weapon. Your long travel will be over. Your mortal body will burn. Now I don't really think that's such a good idea. That's a pretty lame combat, to be honest. Yeah, let's pick this thing up. I think you can run past this when you run out. Not entirely sure. Let's try. Yeah, okay. This is fine. I'm fine. Nothing to see here. These spikes don't do that much damage, so it's fine. Yeah, that's also what I thought that, that the core wrench might be stronger now. Um something we've made in there with the axe build. Yeah, the axe obviously is really good. Um, let's not go there yet. Now we actually need to leave the temple and... Did I get all the shamans? Um, I got one... Two... I think I got four of them. Uh, not quite sleeper time. Uh, this is just the, the fifth chapter, so the sleeper is going to be in the sixth chapter. So... Before that, before we can get to this to this to the sleeper, we need a uh, uh, fancy new uh, weapon. The thing about the 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 axe build is that uh, you just don't care about dying, basically. Like you're just essentially immortal because they just have to kill you twice. Like you kind of become like a wraith king, in a sense, and. Like th then once once you once you respawn, you're just gonna be in the, in the same position as your as your old uh, hero as as your illusion was. Um, and it's a strong illusion, so it can't be insta killed by things like mana drain or hex. And you take no more damage than a normal hero would. So let's potion of haste. Yeah, Axe is indeed weak for most supports. Like it's, it's just like a luxury lake item, I guess. Okay, that's all. A demon that we summoned earlier. Um. So. Well, there are some, some shards that are good on even supports, like, for example, if you play um, support uh, Natus Prophet, this shard is really good. Of uh, enormous amount of split pushing potential. A lot building on an undying as like a second item, but what does the undying shard actually do? Okay, um... 
I have found a way into the underground temple. You have? That's remarkable. You have become very powerful. Stronger than anybody else inside the barrier. Maybe you really are the man the Orcish prophecies told of. Or just get spawn farmed on Venge with a Bane Shadow Shaman. Uh, if that happens, you can just drop your axe into the inventory. Uh, into, the, into the backpack. Um. Prophecies? What prophecies? Ancient Orcish documents written shortly after the sealing of the underground temple mention a holy foe. A holy foe? Someone who shall come to drive the sleeper from our world forever. I am supposed to be the one mentioned in the ancient prophecies? You must be wrong, surely. Maybe, maybe not. So zombie on decay and more decay range radius. Okay, okay. Stronger zombie also seems pretty strong. Necromancer is paying attention now, exactly. Now he's interested. Now he's actually giving, giving us the time of the day. I found this strange sword. Show it to me. That's interesting. It has Eurizio written on it. I've heard of this sword. It's a weapon from the olden days. When the human race was still young, the weapon was forged from an unknown material, and there's nothing written about who created it. This blade was said to possess unbelievable powers, but I don't notice any magical aura. Eurizio possessed unbelievable powers? It was written that the owner of the weapon was able to pierce the strongest armor and to overcome even the most powerful of protection spells. How could the orcs get this powerful weapon into their hands? It's claimed that the orcs took it from a powerful warlord. They didn't know how to use it, but they did hide it. But they didn't hide it well enough. All right, have a good night. Yeah, uh, next stream is actually uh, just tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be total stream. Tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. Is it possible to restore the former powers of the weapon? You need a very strong magical source of power for that purpose. You mean strong enough to detonate the magic barrier with? About that strong. Besides, you'll need a very special magic formula in order to transfer the power. Give me some time, and I'll create the magic formula. Meanwhile, I'll be hunting around for better armor. These blue rags didn't protect me well enough in the underground temple. You should go to my old tower. Your old tower? It sank below one of the eastern lakes during one of the earthquakes. The spires are still visible above the surface. There are still some artifacts inside it. I never made any effort to salvage them. How do I get there? I haven't been there since the earthquake, which means you'll have to find a way to enter it yourself. But take this key. It opens a chest in which I used to store some particularly rare artifacts. Um, I'm seeking get some more stuff. This is not that useful. Yes, yeah, some demons, whatever, golems. Okay. Don't need this. Connect your cell, Eurizio. Uh, <laughs> Be funny. Oh, actually, we're we paying here. Fine. We have 50 skill points, so we want to invest 40 of them into learning the, the sixth circle. Let's do that. Just because it gives us a, a, we're going to get a new armor from that. Can you teach me? I shall raise you into the sixth circle of magic. Notice that only the most powerful magicians may join the sixth circle. It's reserved to those whose life is a sign. Your sign is the unification of the elements. The sixth circle enables you to use the magic of any rune. And don't forget, do not claim the power. 
but servant. And now we also get a nice robe, just like Sadler says. So, robe with dark arts gives us an extra 20 protection to, uh, to weapons, 20, uh, extra 10 to arrows, and extra 15 to fire, and 10 to magic, so it's a really powerful uh, armor. So, um, do we still have Bloodfly? Yep, so we now go to his old tower. Which is uh, in the lake. Lake up there. That's the collapsed tower. And I need a bit of swimming here. Controls for the other one underwater swimming are a bit awkward, but if you can make do. But where am I going? Okay, here we are. There we go. Um, oh, now it's actually equipped the wrong weapon. Whenever you uh, transform into a blood fly or anything else, it just re equips the, uh, the weapon with the most damage that you have available. Which in this case doesn't make any sense because I don't, I'm not good at 200 weapons. So it's another portion of haste. <sighs> Great sound. Uh, how many gothic games are there? Um, depending on how you count them, there's like three like real gothic games, and there's another. Like it's kind of called Gothic 4, but uh, like it's called Acadia, a Gothic game or whatever, uh, which is from a different developer, but sort of uh, is a continuation of the, of the story. So yeah, but really the, the uh, one and two are the best ones. And the, the fourth one is kind of an, ab an abomination. It's like, it's, it's not terrible, but it's just not, it's just not very good. It's just kind of a generic RPG game, which is playable, but nothing special. I love those screens. Uh, okay, so where's actually the room that's important? I don't know. Let's just uh, look at all of them. So, um, Gothic 3 is alright, but it's not as good as the first two. Um, it's like even, even more of an open world, a bigger world, but also like, just like less of an interesting story. And at least at the start it was filled with, to, the, to the brim with bugs, but uh, and a bunch of patches and like... Uh, Community patches uh, uh, done by, by fans that uh, have sort of fixed the game and made it uh, decent. And then from the same developers that uh, um, that made Gothic, there's also um, the Risen series, which is uh, three games, and especially the first one is kind of very similar to to Gothic. Uh, and then also they have like their most recent game is called uh, Alex, which uh, came out I think in uh, 2017. It was like in a science fiction kind of setting, but also an RPG. Although I haven't played through it yet, I've just played like at the beginning of that game. Oh, 
Okay, there's our new armor. Okay. So now I'll put back to Zardas. Talk to him. So this new um, armor that I found is better against weapons, but uh, not as good against magic. Kind of a trade-off, which one you want to, to use. This is 95 against weapons, and it's also better against arrows, but uh, against fire it has less, a lot less, and it brings magic also less. So I actually kind of prefer this one. Let's, let's wear this one for now, though. I see. You're wearing the ore armor. I found it so that the dialogue makes sense because it still says, "I see you wearing your armor, even, even if you don't." Uritzil in the battle against the Yorks. I hope it'll bring me more luck than it did him. Have you completed the magic formula to reactivate Uritzil? It's done, but you won't be able to use it by yourself. Why not? It has to be spoken by a magician while you touch the power source with the sword. Then I'll have to look around for some support. Take the formula. And restore the sword's former power. You'll need it. Okay, so. Pretend we're just an ordinary water mage. We're walking in the water camp. Uh, on the new camp. So let's do this. And now we're just gonna casually steal all your ore. Greetings, my friend. I haven't seen you for ages. Hello, Milton. A lot has happened since we met the last time. By ages, he means like, like everything, but I don't have the time uh, right a now. couple of hours. I'm in a hurry. Milton, I need your help. What's up? How can I help you? Let's go somewhere where we can talk. Fine. Follow me. You get anything from him? Greetings. Okay, no. Nope. May you return. He's gone. He's done. Greetings. Show me your goods. As uh, not not no longer even greet, greeting me as a fellow magician, as I I think I've technically joined the necromancer guild. Kind of weird, but okay. Also, no longer offers to heal me. Can I still get trained trained in a two-handed combat by Lee? Hopefully, because it would be kind of nice. How much? Oh, I actually don't even have enough learning points. Let's just see if it's actually still possible. Like, uh, in here it actually says uh, I'm. Wait, this isn't okay. That guild at the top left, necromancer. No longer magician of water. Hello. Um. You're the boss of the mercenaries, aren't you? That's right, boy. Okay, can't actually uh, uh, teach me anymore. And two hundred. Get out of get out of my bed. What's up? Get out of your bed. So, we're about to royally piss off everyone here. But that's how it goes. Now tell me, what is it? I need the magic powers of the ore mound, and I don't think it would be a good move to ask the other magicians of water. You're joking. This is no time for jokes. I'm deadly serious. I've seen Zardas, the necromancer. I'm working under his orders. Zardis, you're beginning to scare me. Nobody has spoken to him since he left the old camp. I have. What do you need the powers of the ore mound for? I want to transfer them to this sword here. Wow, what a weapon. Its name is Uritzil. Zardas gave me this magic spell to carry out the transfer. 
You will have to recite it while I bring the sword and the ore together. Hmm. Hmm. It looks as if I only have to read out this spell. But we'll get into trouble with Saturus and the other magicians. We'll have to take that risk. It really is very, uh, very important. Important it's sitting for, for too long. inhabitants of the colony. I don't understand. It will get us out of here. You have to trust me. All right. After all you have done for us, I trust you completely. Besides, it seems Zardis trusts you as well. What have I actually done for Milton? Nothing actually. Don't tell anybody. It delivers a message. Let's meet at the ore mound. See you there. Okay. Actually, need to sleep again. To for this guy to that bed here. Yeah. The guy arrives at the old mound. Morning. There's about to be another video, and I don't think we're actually actually gonna be able to see it. So. Um, that kind of sucks, but that's what we have to deal with here. It is an older game, so it's not exactly optimized for streaming. I like, also haven't been actually been able to, to get the game capture to work on this game from OBS. So... Save game here. And prepare for. Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that part. You got the sword and the spell. Here, take the spell. Are you ready? As ready as one can be for this crazy plan. Then let's do it. Yeah, unfortunately, it's again just black. I'm just gonna describe what's happening here. It's, it shows our hero taking Uritiel, and while Milton reads a magic formula, he's plunging the sword into the middle of the big pile of ore, and the power is transferred into the sword. And now the sword is magically charged. And but the magicians of water have seen everything. And they're really pissed. So, sorry that you have to just deal with audio commentary here, but I don't know how to done. fix this. Unbelievable! The plain gray gem is shimmering bluish now. I mean, it's going to be a, a, a black screen probably at the end after I uh, banish the sleeper. That's a good sign. The, uh, final the magic powers of the ore mound really seem to be, be in the black old screen, sword most now. likely. But our little operation here seems to have attracted some attention. But it's only like one you more cutscene in the entire game here. left. That's the final one. What about one. you? Don't worry about me. I'll think of something. Go now. Okay. Um. Right now, everyone in, in the. Everyone of the mages is not going to be hostile to us, so we're just going to TP out there. Uh, actually, no, we don't need to go here. Uh, can we talk to Zardas? I guess we'll talk to Zardas one last time. And then we go into the temple and then return. Greetings. I've reactivated Eurytseal. It's incredible. The sword has regained its former powers. Now you have a really powerful weapon. I'm seeking magic knowledge. Anything useful here? Nothing much, really. I just buy everything. 
And we can sell everything. Basically, just need Scar, Sword, and Eurizio. Don't need Ulumulu either. I'm not going to need all these summoning spells, but I'm just going to want to have them just in case. It was dial points. Let's sell some of the useless stuff here as well. Don't need as many fireballs. Don't need fireball at all. In lightning, no one needs that. But we have a storm of fire, we don't need two. Um Arachnesis is not really useful either. Visions of fire. Ice bolt, ice bolt, ice bolt. Let's just like clear up our inventory. But what do I do now? I don't know. I don't know why I suddenly shifted the tabs. Okay, let's get over this and and this and this thing and this thing. This thing as well. We don't need any food anymore. Potions. No one needs dexterity. This one you don't need either. And there we go. Keep the change. Okay, now we find our... Orc teleport scroll. Where is it? That's our orc teleport spell. And now we turn to the sleeper temple. I mean, technically, we could spend our remaining 20 skill points, but we don't need that. Um, we have like all the skills we need. It would have been nice to have uh, like at least a little one and two handed source because um, of Uriel, but it's fine. It's fine. So, what kind of spells do we need? So, we want to have Soul of Fire, that's nice. Ice Plug is nice. Wave of Ice, we don't need that actually. So, let's on six, let's put. But we have sleep here. Oh, we actually have a sleep room. That's a bit of a pity. We have sleep scrolls. Actually, kind of important. No sleep. Oh, we have one sleep. Okay, just one sleep. Hopefully, that's going to be enough. Uh, let's put that on. Six, so four, five, six. Let's put destroy under and seven. But under is going to be seven, and then zero is going to be light and. Eight is gonna be some demon. Okay. And we'll put on Robert Dark Arts. Do they have a better ring? Yeah, let's put take this one off and take this one instead. I actually prefer this one, I think. Okay, now this potion of haste, and let's go. Ready for the final section of this game. Yeah, I already nine hours of streaming, so I thought it would be done with like eight hours, but 
I guess um, you can aim for like under 10. I guess we can aim for under 10. So let's summon some light. Actually, let's see, do I have uh, Do I have all of my all of the blades here? Okay, we have uh, the four four of them, and then the fifth one is uh, needs to be killed with the reed seal. Okay. I probably actually underground is probably faster, but okay. Um, yeah, let's go under here. I think this is the way. So oh, these guys. The thing about, uh, um, uh, something like the later opponents is that they're immune to physical damage. And so that's why we need uh, uh, Eurizio. They have like a really high. So I can attack them with. with these guys I can still kill. This Fanatic Templar. Then later you have Apocalyptic Templar, I think they're called. And those are immune to um, physical damage and stuff. By MKB. Yeah, exactly, but like MKB in this game is called Eurizio. Deals magic damage. Even though it's a sword. But in this game, you can't just uh, buy an item from the shop. You actually have to um, rob a... Uh, an entire camp of people of or their magical power. The power of this weapon. I mean, in in mythology, the uh, Monkey King bar is also kind of like a magical weapon. It's like the staff that. Um, sort of magically extends or retracts, changes in size based on Monkey's will. What? Okay, that's it now. Okay. So what you're supposed to do actually in this section is like you're supposed to go with this lava lake and there's like a uh, some sort of switches there but you can actually just transform into a meat bug and crawl be beneath these uh, crates here. Uh, let's actually equip that with my magic stuff. Inventory in this game is not my favorite thing. And just crawl through. Easy peasy. Downside is now it has equipped uh, reseal again. I'm actually much better at fighting with because with like, these two hundred weapons, I'm like really, I have no skill in these weapons, so I just attack really slow. Because I have zero skill with two hundred weapons. Only have skill with 100 weapons, so use these here. Face the phonetic Templars here. Execute this guy. And now that's like the, the fifth shaman is, is uh, right across this bridge, and he can actually only be defeated with uh, magic damage.
And you need like a lot of magic damage, just most of the ordinary spells are not going to cut it. Like the only way with the weapons that you uh, can acquire this far is to uh, hit him with the charge up the reseal, or with I can also that uh, Sardas can also turn that uh, Uriel into a into a rune, so it becomes a spell instead if you're a magician. But just the sword is fine for us. Um, so we need ice block, and then we just hit this guy. Let's also get some um, heat potions going. So you can um, actually let's look at the weapon here. You can see there's 120 magic damage and 35 damage. So, and then in addition to that, uh, you do um, uh, physical damage based on your strength. So this this weapon is actually uh, kind of weak against most ordinary opponents because if you have so much strength as I do. You're actually going to do more damage with just with with physical stuff. But um, against this guy, it's kind of required. Uh, let's yeah, let's freeze him. Let's freeze him. So. Stop you. Actually, yeah, I haven't equipped uh, Ice Block, but it's fine. We'll just hit this guy. It's fine. His spell just takes a bit to charge. But we can just hit him, even though he does once. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. Now we take his sword as well. Um, so we get like a new, new rune from him. Just like Breath of Death, a really powerful ability, but it's a hundred damage and uh, only costs five mana. But if you want to do hundred damage, you can just hit them with a witch seal. So now we face the Apocalyptic Templar. These are the all the, uh, the all the assemblers here are uh, brought here by Corcolom. Yo. But our regular weapons we wouldn't do any damage to them. And they're also actually instantly dead when 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 we kill them, and we like reduce their life to zero because we do magic damage. And if it's magic damage, it just kills them right away. Whereas if it's physical damage, like like melee physical damage, it's uh, it's just gonna knock them out. Uh, human on opponents, we have to give them the coup de gas, or they actually die. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's get another safety save here. And going here. Yeah, that's Sada's waiting for us. Go we'll talk to him. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. How did you the sleeper is not far? I had to use all my power to get here. I have translated the Orcus prophecies and discovered what the five hearts are about. The five hearts of the priest you defeated were placed in five shrines. These shrines may be opened, but only the ancient blades carried by the priest can harm the hearts. Now you must pierce the hearts with the five blades. Only thus will you be able to drive the sleeper from this world. I understand. Hurry. For the awakening of the Archdemon is nigh. The crazed Kork Alam and his misled disciples are here. They have gathered in the Hall of the Sleeper. I've bled enough. Nobody can stop me now. The might of the Sleeper is growing stronger 
and stronger. I cannot. What's wrong with you? I must. I must sleep. Okay. Some more stuff to be had here. Some nice potions, which I'm gonna pick up. Yeah, yes. I'll take some potions and then let's sleep a time. Some nice permanent power potions. Prepare us for the final fight. Well, if it was just a mummy, it would be kind of lame, right? I mean, I guess it's, it's a sleeper, so it's kind of sleeping, so maybe that kind of makes sense, but it's not a giant mummy. Look at that, what's that statue? More mummies, more potions, and then we finally. Here what the sleeper looks like. We'll Here's his five hearts with our five blades. And then we'll see like a black screen on the final video. <laughs> Because of technical difficulties. Okay, let's see what potions are actually useful for us. We don't need that. Life. 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 More life. All the life we need. Also get lots of mana. Unlimited power. Need that, we don't need it either. Like gives us gives us a million strength, but it doesn't matter because everything at the at the end is physically moon anyway. Like not technically immune, but has such high resistances that I can't actually pierce them. Okay. We're down here. By the way, look at that nice statue. Isn't it impressive? What could that be? And it's not falling to the lava. Go. I think there's some more Templar here.
Is everything a green love? Even better than you thought. Nice. Okay, so we have sleep. It's important. Actually, do we, do we want this final fight to be really easy? It's kind of an anticlimactic if you do it like this. Easy. Okay, let's do, let's do it the easy way. At last, we meet again. My master has already told me of your arrival. He can sense that you are near. I'll soon be nearer to him than he would like me to be. We will not let you foil our plans. The world is about to witness the awakening of the Redeemer, and nobody can stop him. All the infidels out there will pay the price, and you shall have the honor of being the first to pay! Sleeper Awaken! And that's the easy way, now he's just sleeping. Back his master. And he's not gonna awaken. I mean, he's gonna awaken, but then he's gonna be fine. He's gonna sleep off his his madness, and he's gonna be fine. So now he's just gonna pierce these hearts. Each time you pierce a heart, it's gonna spawn a demon behind us. Demon Lord, very powerful. I don't care. It's gonna be faster. What was that? Gotta go fast. Uh, okay, uh, did that work? Uh, didn't go fast enough. Can we kill this guy? What? Lost focus. Okay. So I think I need to do this again. Sure. Or oh, it's already done. No, he's just like really fine. He's just he's not like a mad. Okay, I've already done this. It's fine now. It's okay. It was about to end. No problem. Under 9.30. And we're done. I asked whether one was the easy way. This was the easy way. And unfortunately, again, you can't see it. What's happening is that the portal behind the sleeper is sort of sucking him in. And it's being... His spirit vanishes from this world. But he's trying to hold on somehow. And then our hero emerges with Eurytia in his hand. Climbing up to the platform and as the sleeper tries to come back, he charges the sword, stabs him and the magic power defeats the sleeper, banishes him, banishes him from this world and now it's over. When the sleeper was banished into his own dimension, I returned to daylight. The magic barrier had fallen. But for me, the adventure had only just begun. And that's the game.